Tuesday, February 6th, 4 a.m. Mountain Time, 2018. Story here coming out of the National Geographic yesterday evening, around 10 hours ago. More than a trillion planets could exist beyond our galaxy. A new study gives first evidence that exoplanets exist beyond the Milky Way. Written by Elena Zakos, scientists have long been unable to find exoplanets, planets outside the solar system beyond the confines of the Milky Way. After all, our galaxy is a warped disk about a hundred thousand light years across and a thousand light years thick, so it's incredibly difficult to see beyond that. But now a new study is saying there could be extra galactic exoplanets. The study published February 2nd in the Astrophysical Journal Letters. That article was here at the Daily Report on February 2nd, the day that it came out. It was just a little more complicated to understand. Um, beyond our galaxy, using information from NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory and a planet detection technique called microlensing to study a distant quasar galaxy. Scientists at the University of Oklahoma found evidence that there are approximately 2,000 extragalactic planets for every one star beyond the Milky Way. Some of these exoplanets are relatively small as the Moon, while others are as big as Jupiter. Unlike Earth, most of the exoplanets are not tightly bound to stars, so they're actually wandering through space or loosely orbiting between stars. We can estimate that the number of planets in this faraway galaxy is more than a trillion, says Zenu Dai, the astronomy and astrophysics professor who led the study. This image here is one of the first microlensing images that highlights the possibility of exoplanets beyond the Milky Way, and it sure does look like it. This would be the star, and this would be the exoplanets that you see. Microlensing works like magnification, says co-author Eduardo Guerreras. It's a highly nuanced process that looks at frequencies emitted by moving celestial objects meant to observe how they distort and magnify light that comes from the objects near them. This light then illuminates things that aren't otherwise visible. The microlensing is amplifying something that is very small, changing colors, which makes no sense. Or it's amplifying a small region or a bigger object, and that object has different colors. Since these objects are so distant, the extragalactic bodies are some 3.8 billion years away. Microlensing is the only way to get a sense of their shape. The researchers know they're looking at planets because of the speed at which they're moving. You can have this effect with stars, but it would be much, much less likely. It would be way less frequent. If you have only one planet, the chances of observing it twice is astronomically small. In search of exoplanets. Considering the scale, detecting exoplanets can be tricky. Directly viewing exoplanets within the Milky Way is nearly impossible, so astrophysicists have to sift through data and use other detection techniques that give evidence of planet signatures. I'm going to stop there for just a minute. I was a member, and still am, a member of the Planet Hunters. We hunted for exoplanets using Kepler data, and it was very tedious. We looked for shadows. Uh, that transited across the uh, surface of a star. And it was very exciting at first, but it's extremely boring. You're sitting looking for little tiny shadows going across stars. If you would see the same shadow twice, you could submit that data for the possibility of it being cataloged as an exoplanet. So it was rather uh, interesting to say the least, but I'm still a member, I just haven't done it in, in quite a while. Back to the story. Considering the scale, detecting exo exoplanets can be tricky. Yes, it can. Directly viewing exoplanets within the Milky Way is nearly impossible. So astrophysicists have to sift through data and use other detection techniques that give evidence of planet signatures. Normally, it takes multiple methods to confirm if there is actually an exoplanet out there. In some cases, detections have turned out to be false positives. That's very true. These stars are really far away. 
there's no way you can observe, observe them by any traditional means. The researchers are hoping that with the publication of their study, other scientists will pick up the data and develop other techniques to verify whether or not these extra galactic planets exist. We hope other teams publish independent analysis to confirm our findings, Dye says. I think this is a case where scientific discoveries can be triggered by the spark of ideas. Extra on exoplanets. Exoplanets have been discovered in our Milky Way galaxy in the past. In fact, 5,287 planets have been confirmed and thousands more could still be out there. Previous efforts have been databased and archived. That was through the Planet Hunters, the uh, probably the original team. In our galaxy, there's about one planet around every star, which means that there could be up to a trillion planets in the Milky Way. Many of these exoplanets could be Earth size. Dye says the study opens up the new field of studying starless planets beyond our galaxy and could help us compare free extragalactic exoplanets with their intragalactic counterparts. Very fascinating story, and it doesn't surprise me one bit. I personally think there are planets galore, not only through the Milky Way. Um, there's probably some just slightly beyond our solar system. Let's face it, we haven't found everything in our oceans yet, so we've come a long way with our space discoveries and things like that, but I think we have a long, long way to go. And I'm very interested in this field of study, and I may look into uh, looking through some of this data. If I can be of, of any assistance, it would be my humble honor to do so. But the thought of more than a trillion planets could exist beyond our galaxy, that doesn't surprise me at all. The universe is so big. There are so many galaxies and solar systems out there that it's it's difficult in the human domain to even wrap your mind around something so big. Honestly, it is. And I've been trying for years. That's why I got some experience in hunting exoplanets, just to kind of put things in perspective of, of how big things really are. And it's fascinating. It is absolutely fascinating. But for now, more than a trillion planets could exist beyond our Milky Way galaxy. Here's the very first image of some of that possible proof. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a super day, and be safe out there.